Okay, welcome to 3.2 Twitter header. So this is an update to the course because this is one of the largest changes that Twitter made in their recent update. Instead of having a small header image behind your profile picture, we now get an entire page. There's that this new header is now the width of the page. And it is quite thick too, as you can see. If you go onto my profile, so this is the default view. Let me just reload that for you. That is the view you get. This whole part here is taken up with the header. So this is why I'm stressing uh, in this lecture to make sure you really focus on having an awesome header image for your business or personal profile because that's the first thing people notice and it's the biggest thing that they can notice. Uh, so I have a relatively simple one, which you're probably looking at right now. It's just a neat little arrow saying I look like this with a photo of me. And then I have connect with me here. So this over here is my call to action benjiblue.com because the purpose of your header, you always want to have a purpose uh, for me is to have a call to action to get them back to my website. You can also see I've included my website down here, which I'll show you how to do in the upcoming lectures. So general guidelines for uh, Twitter header. I'm going to show you some examples at the end of this module of uh, Twitter headers that I am particularly a fan of. The header image recommendation is 1500 pixels wide by 500 pixels tall. Now, I wouldn't technically use this recommendation because what Twitter do is they do something weird where they actually compress it down to this size no matter what you do. And what they'll do is they'll cut off the corners of your header image if you have it at this size. So what I've done for you is I've created a, a header template for you. So I'll make sure that you can download this in the downloadable area of this lecture. Uh, if not, go to twitter.benjiblue.com and you'll be able to get it. So what you're looking at here is this is the 1500 by 500, the whole thing. But this is where Twitter crop. So these are actually invisible areas. This is where your profile image will overlap depending if you're uh, what device you're using. And this part here is invisible on mobile because that is where your profile image sits on a mobile site. So feel free to use this space and this space too. Just don't put any call to actions or anything prominent inside that area, if that makes sense. So the best way to get this image is to download it. I'm just going to copy it. And then open it in Photoshop or whatever whatever software you are using. And then simply just uh, put whatever you want over the top and make sure it's inside the visible area. So if you're going to paste a picture in here or anything else, it's great to use this template just to make sure that it's going to show up on Twitter. So I just logged in really quick so you can see how to change this header image. Uh, as you'll see, it'll be easy to change any part of your profile by simply clicking this edit profile button and then change your header right here. Upload photo or remove what is currently there. So you'd click upload photo and then you'd pick the photo from your desktop. Change your profile photo here. I'll go through that shortly. 